Hey, what's up, guys? Doing front brakes on a 2013 Dodge Durango. Um, they're not too bad. A couple things to note on, on this one, but uh, they're pretty easy. First thing we gotta do is get this clip off. <clears throat> uh, there's multiple ways you can get it off. I mean, if you have a flathead or a pry bar, you can screw it off. You can go, you know, you can pry it on, you know, this way, on the bottom and top. It doesn't matter, just get it off. Uh, any way you can. Basically those little tabs go in there and hold the uh, pad and caliper tight. I usually put a rag on it when I'm pulling it off just so it doesn't spring off and hit me. Uh, the way I do it is I'll you know go up here and just knock it loose like that. Um, it was already kind of loose already because I already did it but that's the way I go is that, the, is that spot. And then I'll take my flathead and go over to the caliper bolts. I'm going to have to take these plastic caps off. I'll just use my same flathead and go ahead and pop these caps off. Uh, these are to protect the bolts from uh, the weather. So we're going to get top and bottom off and uh, look up there, see what kind of bolt it is. Um, <clears throat> it's actually a hex bolt, but with this one, um, I have this socket. This is from Harbor Freight of Pittsburgh. It's a 10 millimeter and um, it wouldn't fit. I try to get in here and it won't fit, uh, it just won't fit. I mean, if you have a longer 10 millimeter one, that's just, it could probably fit. But in this case, I'm gonna have to use my Allen little wrench here. And it's long enough, I can get it in there. Again, it's a 10 millimeter. And uh, on this car, these bolts weren't that hard to get loose. I just kind of muscled them loose and then I'm just gonna have to do it this long way and get them off. But like I said, if you have a, a socket that can fit in there go for it and use that basically what we're doing is we're unscrewing it and you can see the little caliper bolt coming out right there we can get those out and uh, just a note uh, further down the video uh, those threads on those bolts aren't really that strong so we gotta be careful and uh, also I'm gonna take this wire off the brake hose uh, this is I believe for the ABS and these uh, these wires are never really that strong so we don't want to stress it out in any way so once you got those bolts out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. And I usually put calipers over here on this side and this pad can just pop right out. You can just pull it out. <clears throat> All right, so now we gotta get the caliper bracket bolts off. If you're doing rotors, these are 21 millimeters. Um, got mine right here. I'm gonna use my air gun just because I have it here, but if you have a 21 millimeter wrench at home, you're doing this in the driveway, don't feel like you can't do it with that you can still do it with that I'm just using my air gun because you know I have it available all right so we're gonna go ahead and get these off all right got my top one I got my bottom one off <clears throat> now I'm gonna take my bracket and set it aside don't forget the bolt and uh, yeah so as you might you might have your rotor doing this too it's not uh, coming off and usually I put um, a lug nut on and hit it with this rubber hammer if you know it's rusted onto the hub <clears throat> however on these yours may have this or may not uh, it has a little rubber o-ring right here uh, I think this comes from the factory so we can go ahead and take this off yours may not have this you know the guy who did the brakes before before us like he might have took it off and just threw it away but if your rotor's not coming off I'll just take that o-ring off and I would put it back on when we're done so I got my rotor off I uh, just want to show you guys something the inner pad it has these little clips and it actually they go in the the caliper pistons and that's just how it, it you know stays so we're gonna take that out and um, while my rotors cutting I'm gonna push these pistons in and get them ready Oops. All right. And uh, if you have a, like giant channel locks or something, you could do this too. Just, you know, the point is to push the pistons in so we could put new pads in. Um, I have a tool. All right now I'm gonna cut my rotor. If you're, if you got new rotors or if you're just doing a pad slab, I guess you could disregard this part. But uh, yeah, so I got my cut rotor and now I'm gonna put it all back together. Go put my bracket back on. And uh, you can lube your bracket a little bit uh, with some lube on just the spots that are like kind of rusty or where you can see where the pads like slide on. Let me get my caliper bolts in. 
and I'm hand tighten these down <clears throat> and then like I said again I'm gonna use my gun to tighten these down you could use your wrench at home or whatever you got just make sure these are real tight uh, pretty much as tight as you can get them it's an important bolt to be extra tight all right so I got that on now uh, say if this was your new pad you just stick it in all right like that and then you know put the other pad right here this is the outer it's the inner and uh, make sure these are pushed in this will make it easier for you just to slide this back on and uh, so I put that on and now I'm going to uh, get these caliper bolts started back in and like I said earlier these caliper bolts if they're going in crooked or you don't think it's right just you know slow down make sure it's right because those those threads are not that strong I've, I've stripped plenty out before so I'm going slow making sure they're in straight and then I'm going to uh, just go ahead and take them all the way down all right might want to put the rubber um, part on here too that might help it so don't forget that all right so now we got everything in I'm just gonna uh, put my clip back on um, basically you could just wrestle this back in uh, I started from the bottom or I'm sorry yeah I put I put it in from the top and then I pushed it in with the bottom right there where my screwdriver just was and so we got that all in and um, you know if you're having trouble with, with the with the clip they could be a pain um, you know don't get discouraged sometimes you got to wrestle them in and then put these caps back on uh, make sure you get this line these wires connected they have guides for a reason and uh, make sure your brake hose isn't twisted or bent you know something might have got twisted when we're moving it around that could affect your braking a lot so um, yep looks like we're all done I uh, hope this video helped please like comment subscribe